Now, Adam, in your leadership journey, and you alluded to a number of mentors in your own life, can you maybe share a success story where you mentored somebody and that person took your advice to heart? Mm. Um, well, that's an interesting one to think about. Uh, yes, I, 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 I can, which I have to say, it surprised me that uh, this person actually took my um, my advice to heart. He uh, was a South African mm. uh, who had uh, gone up to Sandhurst in the UK and had studied and um, became an officer in the British Army. And he decided to leave the British Army and he came back to South Africa. And he said to me that he was deciding to do an MBA and uh, wanted to use my advice and thoughts and ideas on, on uh, where he should pursue it. And he was contemplating going back to the UK or going to INSEAD or elsewhere. And um, I don't know what the, how the conversation happened, but um, the conversation turned to him potentially going to China mm. and uh, being one of the first um, uh, students of a Chinese MBA it would in mm. involve him having to learn Mandarin. But um, uh, we convinced each other that as an ex-British officer mm. uh, in the British Army, uh, that uh, going to China and studying uh, an MBA there mm. and then coming back to South Africa mm. and getting engaged with Chinese companies that are seeking to expand their presence mm. here could be an amazing marketplace, a much... Mm much more focused and limited marketplace than just going into the general MBA marketplace. Mm. Anyway, um, about uh, six months later, he called me and he said, I'm off to Shanghai. Mm. <laughs> and I said, really? He said, yes, I, I took your advice. Mm. I've been learning Mandarin. I, I have managed to get a, a bursary from Standard Bank because when I told them my story, they, mm. they said, come and uh, here's mm. a bursary. And he went off to Shanghai and... Uh, and completed his uh, his MBA, which, uh, um, as I said, surprised me that uh, that that idea that mm. that seed um, actually did germinate, and uh, and uh, off he went and, uh, and and took that advice. So, Adam, who are the role models of leadership that you suggest future leaders should study and maybe learn from? Um, Uh, let me let me pick three. One one that was pivotal for me early in my career, which is a long a long time ago in my career, and actually the leader was a long time. And that was Ernest Shackleton. Uh, when I read the story of Ernest Shackleton and his Antarctic experience mm -hmm. of how he led uh, his ship and it became marooned in the ice, and how he had to lead his uh, his crew back to safety without losing anybody was just an amazing story and I think uh, it's a very easy read and it's a it's a fantastic story to uh, to read um, I think in the, bringing things up to the modern day um, I've learned a lot from uh, Mark Benioff who is the uh, CEO and founder of salesforce.com the biggest technology cloud company in the world and um, I'll give you one example of what I've learned from him was his approach to philanthropy and and um, and creating a social enterprise and creating mm. what we are now as a B corporation at IQ Business. Um, I've learned a lot from his approach and we've actually adopted many of the things. I've, I've, I have no shame in borrowing or stealing mm. with pride as long as it gets attributed back. And Mark, I've, I've learned a lot from and I had the privilege of meeting him um, on one occasion. Uh, and then thirdly, um, more, more recently, um, from um, a lady called Gail Kelly. And Gail mm. Kelly um, is a very successful South African uh, and became um, CEO of one of the biggest banks in Australia. Mm. Um, she's a mother of four and has, in her career, has been supremely successful mm. and uh, led a very balanced life. And I think she's a real inspiration And um, I, uh, she's written a book recently, uh, and uh, "Live Life, Learn" is her is her book, and mm -hmm. it's really uh, I think it's really got some great perspectives on modern leadership, and and I think very importantly um, female leadership because I think uh, 
the male leaders of this world, uh, myself included, can learn a great deal from mm. our iconic female leaders. Absolutely. So, Adam, how can our listeners get hold of you and how can they connect with you? Well, I'm based here at the IQ Business Park in, in Ravonia. My Twitter handle, which is uh, uh, quite active, is at Craker AS, and that's C R A K E R A S. Uh, and then um, at the IQ Business Park, my uh, email address is a Craker at IQBusiness.net. Um, or just call me here. That uh, would be a, be a pleasure to talk. And Adam, last but not least, is there one piece of advice that you would really like to convey to future leaders that they should implement in their own leadership? Um, one, one piece of advice, I guess, is, uh, uh, is, is try to stay and be, um, be humble in, the, in your leadership and, uh, uh, and admit the mistakes. There's the, the most humbling approach one can take <laughs> is mm. to admit when you're wrong and not to be afraid to be humbled by, uh, uh, by being uh, proven to be wrong. Well, Adam, thank you so much for sharing your insights and your wisdom and for helping us to build a better future. It's a great pleasure, Nick. Thank you. Thank you.